Hey guys, welcome to my impressions for the first volume of My Hero Academia. Now this manga series has been around for a little over a year uh, in Shonen Jump and it's been getting a lot of popularity, especially now that there has been an anime announced. I have a feeling that this series is going to explode. So I decided to check it out and see what all the fuss was about and now I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the first volume. So in the world of My Hero Academia, 80% of the Earth's population has superpowers. It is completely common that when you are four years old, you start to show signs of superpowers based off whatever your parents have. And these superpowers are called quirks. Now, uh, because so many people have these, uh, the crime rate, like, shot way up, because it's, you know, easier for people to commit crimes when they have superpowers, and now, uh, becoming a superhero is now a common profession. And there are schools all around the world that are designed to train people with quirks to become heroes. However, 20% of the world's population are born without quirks, and uh, these guys are obviously put at a disadvantage, and our protagonist, Deku, is one of the quirkless. And despite not having any powers at all and being kind of a wimp, it is his dream to become a hero. However, as he gets older, he begins to realize that this is a very unrealistic dream as he does not have any powers at all, so he can't really do all that much. And he also gets bullied a lot for not having any powers, which, uh, you know, wouldn't really help his confidence there. And once he gets to his third year of middle school, he begins to realize that it is very unlikely that he will be accepted into UA, which is the superhero high school for Japan. However, all of that changes one day when one of his classmates is attacked by a giant goop monster thing. Without any heroes in the nearby area, Deku, without any experience at all, tries to save him. Now, this doesn't really work, but before the monster can kill Deku and his classmate, they are saved by the famous superhero All Might. Now, after witnessing Deku's courage, uh, All Might decides that he is going to attempt to make Deku his successor. Because All Might has the ability to pass his powers along to another, and he knows he's not going to be around forever, so he decided that he is going to make Deku his apprentice. So for the next 10 months, Deku undergoes some serious training. He turns from a wimp to a badass. He got like all the muscles, all the abs, and by eating All Might's hair, he gains his DNA along with his quirk, which is basically a type of super strength. However, Deku does not really know how to utilize it very well, and every time he does, he beats the crap out of his body. But now that he does have powers, he is able to apply for UA. They take this entrance exam where they have to go into this arena and beat as many villains as they can, and he doesn't end up defeating all that many villains, but because he rescues uh, a girl that he meets there, he ends up getting accepted into the school for his bravery. And that's pretty much how this series starts. He is now enrolled in the UA Academy for Superheroes. He is going to learn how to become a hero. There's a bunch of other classmates. He's going to make friends. He's going to make enemies. And it's going to be an awesome time because this volume right here was really, really good. I love the premise for this story. It takes obvious inspiration from American comics, and it's really cool how they do it. Like, if you just look at this cover, like, it looks like an American comic. I mean, you got the volume number, like, all the way up here, and I love how on the back it looks just like one. They have a shampoo ad on the back. Like, like that is perfect. This is just a great cover design. And I love how this series started, just seeing how determined Deku was to become a hero. All that training he went through, all the hardships, all the crap he had to go through just to get to this point was pretty awesome. Throughout this entire volume, I couldn't help but thinking about that Disney movie, Sky High, if you remember. It's about a dude who didn't have superpowers, he goes to a superhero school. Like, this volume completely reminded me of that, and it was pretty funny. And now that he is starting school, this series shows great promise, because what I love about series where there are all these different types of powers is that you'll always get new character introductions, and that you'll always have different powers, and you're always excited to see what type of things these guys can do. Like, the main female character in the series has zero gravity powers, which are actually really cool. I don't think I've seen powers like that before. I'm also excited to see the challenges that these students will have to go through, because they made it very clear at the end of this volume that uh, going to this school will not be a walk in the park, and it is very easy to find yourself expelled if you do not 
meet the performance standard. And the next volume is going to start with uh, the All Might teaching the students battle training. So that is going to be awesome. And that pretty much sums up my thoughts on the first volume. It was really, really good. I recommend you check it out. Uh, the second volume, uh, I believe, just came out and you can go get that now. I will 100% be picking it up. And if I enjoy the second volume, then chances are I will begin to catch up online because the volume releases in English will be a bit slow, just seeing as how there's only like 60 something chapters out out right now. Also be on the lookout for more news for the anime because it's being done by Studio Bones and I freaking cannot wait for that. I will definitely be watching that show when it comes out. And with that thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.